In a high-pressure squeeze, cement is pumped into the well at pressures that exceed the formation fracture pressure. This causes fractures to propagate from the well bore. These induced fractures are intended to intersect the existing fractures or voids responsible for unwanted production. The induced fractures remain full of cement after the treatment and thus block production from these areas. In practice, this method has a low success rate, probably due to the unpredictable growth of the induced fractures. A low pressure squeeze does not exceed the formation fracture pressure, and it may only require a couple of barrels of cement as opposed to 100 barrels for a high pressure squeeze on the same interval. During a low pressure squeeze, filtrate from the slurry is forced into the formation flow channels, creating a buildup of cement filter cake. A properly designed slurry leaves only a small cement filter cake bump, called a node, inside the casing after excess slurry is circulated out of the well.